In this video, we're going to talk about balancing the ledger accounts. After having posted the journal entries in the ledger accounts, what's next? You need to figure out the balances in these accounts. What is, you know, amount to be paid, to be recovered. We had some discussion over it, but there is a little bit more that we need to more formally discuss about balancing the accounts. Uh, let me quickly get another uh, color of ink because it is already text on the slide. Let me take a blue color. So in the bank account, uh, now, you know, again, these are conventions which we need to understand. In the bank account, we did a total on the debit side and we close this account. The process is called closing this account by placing, you know, one, two and three lines. Two lines on the bottom, again, is a convention. 430 is the total on the debit side and I'm going to write the same total on the other side, 430. Just overriding it and I close this as well. Okay. However, we know the total on the credit side is only 220 and there is a 210, uh, 210 which is balance left. We're going to write that balance here, 210. And now when you sum this up, it will be 430. Okay. And we are going to write here by balance carried down. C slash D stand for carried down. It simply refers to this process that we have uh, taken the total on the debit side and we have deducted the total of the credit side. And finally, after all of this, we carry this down to 210. We are going to carry the balance of 210 to the next period after the 14 transactions. All right. So we are carrying this balance down after the 14 transactions, you know, if that makes any sense. So CD slash uh, CD stands for that. But uh, necessarily what we are saying is 210. And this 210 is the uh, you know, balancing figure. This does not come out of uh, any transaction. This is the result of all the transactions. So after you have done all of this and here you put the, you know, uh, date here, uh, since these were transactions, we, we, we don't have a transaction number for this transaction and this is not necessarily a transaction here. So you just post, put the last date of the financial year or the month, uh, wherever, whenever you are closing this account and you write 210. So this is the balance in the bank account. This is the formal process of closing an account and figuring out what balance is left in this bank account. We can follow the similar process for all the accounts. So for the shareholder capital account, we have amount on the credit side. I'm going to sum this. So 100, again, as per the convention, two underlines at the bottom of this account. And then I write the total on this side, the opposite side, whichever side it may be. It's not necessary that you total the debit side always, wherever the amount is higher. So in the shareholder capital accounts case, we have amount on the credit side only. Now we write it here. Now we sum up the debit side, which is zero and then we take it out, deduct it from 100. So you have 100 here, and we are going to write two balance carried down. Again, the carried down has the same meaning. Uh, after all the 14 transactions that were done, we are carrying uh, a balance of 100 in the capital account. Now, this is not a uh, bank account to say that there is 100 money uh, but we are saying there is balance of 100 in the capital account and capital is a liability for the business. So business uh, is carrying a liability equal to 100. The liability is towards the shareholders. That is what it means. And here you put the last date of the financial year or the month or whenever you are closing uh, this account. There you go. This is how you close the shareholders capital account. And this again is a balancing figure. This did not come out of any transaction. We followed a process of closing uh, the ledger accounts and that's how we got to this number. Let's go to the next account, bank loan account, which has 200 on the credit side. So I'm just going to sum this up here. 200, 200. 
and I'm going to total the uh, debit side which is equal to nil so the balance is 200 and I'm going to write 2 balance carried down this is also a balancing figure a balancing figure means that uh, you know this did not come from any transaction but after the process of uh, closing down this account so this means bank loan uh, the uh, the business is carrying uh, after the 14 transactions business is still carrying a liability of 200 follow the same process for purchase account in this case we have 100 total on the debit side so we just going to write it on the credit side then we figure out the total of the credit side which is zero and find out the balance which is 100 of course and we write by balance carried down and you put the last date or the date on which you're doing this so done you have uh, you are carrying a balance of 100 in the purchase account means that during the year or during the 14 transactions whatever is the period during this period total purchases of 100 rupees have been made some of those can be cash or credit does not matter accounting is done on accrual basis so all the purchases are equal to 100 so when you have to figure out your you know profit uh, you have to figure out you have to deduct your expenses from incomes uh, you look at purchase expenses and you look at this account and you say 100 that's it you don't need to worry about uh, you know the general entries uh, hundreds of general entries in the journal all right let's go to abc's account ABC's account interestingly uh, has 50 on the both sides already and I have closed the account in the previous video already. There is no balance. Uh, ABC was a vendor. You purchased from him 50. You paid him 50. There is no balance to be carried down. The business does not carry any liability towards ABC Limited. That is what this account is indicating. There is no balance in this account. Next up, you have sales account. You write 100 here because that's the total here. And then you sum up the debit side, which is zero. And you write the balance here, which is 100. You write two balance carried down. This means after the 14 transactions, after this period, the business is carrying a total sale. The business conducted a total sale of 100. Part of it can be cash or credit, does not matter. What you are interested in is the total sale during the year according to the matching principle, according to the accrual principle. Uh, so the accrual principle says if you have transferred the goods and services and you have a legal right on obtaining the money from the customer, you can consider this money as sale. You may not recover it in the future when it can become a bad debt, that is okay, but you have the legal right. So you can consider credit purchase, uh, credit sale as the sale as well. So the total sale during the year, 100 account closed. PQR's account now. PQR's account again, interestingly, has 50 on both the sides. You sold goods worth 50 to PQR and then he paid you 40 and remaining 10, as I said, have turned bad debts so you have given up hopes of recovering this 10 and you have considered this remaining balance instead of writing this as a balance carried down we have written it written this as bad debts you cannot carry this balance because it's unlikely highly improbable that you will recover this amount so considered a loss done no uh, more money to be recovered from pqr account has been closed Building account, you have 100 total on the debit side. You can write this 100 here and in the previous video we written 60 here as the balance. We write by, uh, sorry, balance by balance, carry down. What does this mean? This means that the business is carrying a balance of 60 in the building. This is the book value of the building after the 14 transaction. There, there was 100 rupees worth of building that you bought, but you sold building worth 30 and the value of the building has gone down because of wear and tear usage, etc. by an amount of 10. So the value left in the building account is only 
60, you write the date here. Depreciation account, again, you have amount, only one single amount and you can just balance it by balance carry down 10. What does this mean? During the year, total depreciation expense is equal to 10. The business is carrying or business has incurred an expense of 10 on depreciation. Rent account, 20. This is the balance. I'm going to write by balance carried down last date of the financial year. Close this properly. And this means the business is carrying a total rent expense of 20 during the 14 transactions. During a financial year, what is the amount of rent that has been paid by the business? How much rent expense should be shown in the uh, income statement? 20. Done. Interest income account. Again, I'm just going to close this here. 10. And you write 2. Balance. Carry it down. This is uh, the amount, this is the amount of income that business is carrying or the business has earned due to interest. That's what it means. The last account is bad debt account. You close this, write by balance, uh, carry down. The business is carrying a loss of 10 due to bad debts. That's what it means. All right, this was an extra uh, Format. So now we have uh, completed the process. Now we have completed the process of balancing. We've learned another uh, uh, thing about ledger posting. After you post it, you have to close the balances and you have to understand what these balances uh, mean. So uh, uh, now you should be familiar with how the accounts are uh, closed and what this closing balance, the carry down balance uh, indicates. I will continue this discussion in the next video.